Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Miley and today I'm gonna come with you guys of um what am I trying to say? Anyways, I'm trying to I'm, I'm gonna try to show you guys how to fix your freeze game or your game that keeps freezing, you know, your frame dropped or however you guys call it. I'm not really big and you know thing on computer or anything i don't know those big technical words but i just decided to do this on my computer and i feel like it worked um it doesn't i don't think it's completely fixed but it's a lot better than before because my game before i actually um and I actually only pay, play like 15 minutes and then it will freeze for, I mean not 15 minutes, I'll play for like 15 seconds and then it will freeze for 30 seconds. And then it will freeze for, you know, play 15 seconds and it will freeze for 30 seconds again. And it was really, really annoying. But now I could, I could actually play for like 15, 20 minutes before I get that, you know, little freeze frame. And it doesn't even freeze that long either. It's just like two seconds. You know what I mean? So I'm going to show you guys how to do this my way. I don't know. Um, there's probably like some other reason, way out there that's a lot better than my way but I'm gonna show you guys how to do this so first you're gonna go into your electronic arts folder and then you're gonna go into your sims 4 and this is your backup so you want to do this you want to move your save file onto your desktop and your tray file onto your desktop right here okay and then so now you're gonna go and then you're gonna go into the sims and oop no 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 but anyways um <coughs> you could do it that way if you want but i'm gonna go in here let me show you guys i'm gonna go in here and then i'm gonna go and uninstall yes you guys are gonna be like oh, you want me to uninstall my game uh yes that's exactly what i'm saying so you're gonna uninstall your game and then you're gonna reinstall your game you're gonna go back i'm not gonna show you guys because i already did it and i don't want to wait again so i already did it so i don't want to do it again so you, after you uninstall it, you'll just go into your game library and then it will just show you like a little button. Let me show you guys my Sims 3 here. Yeah, see how it just has a, yeah, my Sims 3 doesn't work. So I uninstalled it. So you just install it again. And if you have all the packs, it will take about four to five hours. I don't have all the packs. So mine only took three and a half hours. I think it was. I'm not sure. But it will be worth it. So once it's done installing, let me show you guys. What, what am I doing? Once it's done installing, you're going to come back in here because it won't show this folder will be well um after you uninstall it you want to delete this okay so you will go you will go to um electronic art second button and move to trash i'm not going to move mine to trash is because you know this is my new folder so i don't want to lose everything again so um you go to electronic arts and then of course you move it to trash and then you have to empty out your trash you got to empty out your trash and of course everything in here is going to be gone i'm not even kidding everything in here is going to be gone but don't worry oh i forgot if you want to you could save your screenshots too so you could actually move your screenshots over here okay so once it's done uploading and everything this folder will come back you know what I mean? So the folder will come back. So you'll go back to Electronic Arts in your documents, Electronic Arts, The Sims 4, and then there will be a new folder. There will be a new folder. You guys can't see it right now. Let me show you guys what I did. Um, let me see if you guys can see here. Oh, you guys can't see. But anyways, when you come back here, like, um, let's pretend. Oh, yeah, let me show you guys. Let me, let me show you guys what I did. Okay, I have it in my other folder over here. So your save files should be empty. When you come back after it's uninstalled, I mean, after it's installed, everything will be empty. So what you're going to do, I did a backup. So my backup is in here and it's under my Sims 4 games, right? Yeah, see how it's all right here? So you'll go into your safe file over here, your extra safe. So I saved it in my backup memory or whatever hard drive thing. And so what you're going to do is you're just going to copy the whole thing. You go there and then you go copy all 81 items. And then you go to documents and then you go to electronic arts, the Sims 4, and you go to your safe file. So let's pretend this is all empty. Then I'm gonna, you know, just go and then 
and then I'll just, you know, go into my save thing and then, you know, click somewhere above here somewhere. Or you could just click on save and then you go and then you put paste 81 item. And then all 81 items will be in here. And then um, I'm going to, you know, it, of course, mine's going to say I it's already exists, blah, blah, blah. Do I want to do it again? So I put um, apply to all, stop because I already have it on here. And then um, so that's basically it. And then you just do the same thing with the tray. So you'll come down here. Let me move my tray back in here. So you just, you know, go into your tray. Now you go into your backup documents. You know, you know, you could go in here. Yeah, so it'll pop up another window just like that. So you guys could do it that way instead, you know what I mean? So you could actually highlight it. Um, let me show you guys. So let's put my screenshot back in here. So this will be easier for me to show you guys. Um... File, new folder, because I have to like pretend that I'm doing it all over again so I can show you guys. Okay, so this, let's pretend that this is my screenshot folder that I open. It's all empty like this. So I would just highlight this and then just um, drag it back in here. And then let's load the game and I will show you guys um, how it works. So I don't know if anybody out there done it like this before or not, but um, I just decided to come up with this idea myself because I got tired of, you know, the freeze frame and whatever. It was really, really annoying. Like building, oh my gosh, I love my building. I love doing builds and it just took forever. Ever. so you guys can go ahead and um if you have the patience do this do it this way and i think it's worth it you know it's worth the three to four hours wait again for it to load i think it's really worth it i'm just saying but let me show you guys one more step that you could do to help it too Okay, so one more thing that you could do to help yourself first is you could go into your load games here and you could go and delete all the files that you don't want. You know what I mean? All the files that have been sitting in your folder for the last you know, year, year and a half and whatever else. So you can go in and just delete it all and stuff. And so by the time that you actually do uninstall it and everything, then you could just delete all that off and then see so your backup will, you know, kind of clear up a little bit and then your computer will run a little bit smoother. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video. I hope it was helpful and I hope that your game will load how you want it. You know what I mean? I really do hope the best for you guys because it did work for me or it does or whatever I'm trying to say. It worked for me. I could play my game. See, it loads a lot faster now too for me because before it didn't load this nicely for me. Like seriously, it took kind of a long time so i hope you guys did you know find this useful thumbs up if you guys do and subscribe down below if you guys haven't because i'm really just you know hoping that this hope you guys help you guys because it did really help me and so i'm gonna show you guys how my game is running now just show you guys a little bit if you guys want to stick around and watch it. Some of you guys probably already left. Of course, if you already left, you probably know that I'm still talking. I mean, you probably don't even know that I'm still talking. So I'm going to show you guys. So let's run this for like five minutes just so you guys can see. Like before, if I did this, you know, I just turned my camera. It would freeze and stuff. And look at this. Look how nice this is. Like I could go over here and um, the, the, yeah, those thing doesn't freeze like seriously look at this like it's kind of choppy a little bit but I I like this a lot better than it was before like before it's, it literally froze like I'm not even kidding it literally froze and I just like had to stay here and wait you know what I mean I have to just sit here and wait for it to come back on and look at this look how nice it's doing now instead of like before i know the frames are kind of slow and stuff but hey and then let me show you guys really quick what i did here too um 
graphics. Yeah, so I just basically changed it to a medium, sort of, like you can see. I changed it to a medium except for view distance. I still made a high. I could make this high if I really wanted to, and I really don't like, um, yeah, all that stuff. And you guys see my resolution. I Oh, I actually did have it up here. I don't know why it changed back down. I don't know why I did that. So, um, I really hope this helped you guys. Uh, I will talk to you guys all later. And you guys have a good day, good night, wherever you guys live in the world. Bye, guys. What did you got to say for yourself? What are, what are you going to tell, what are you going to tell the queen when you get home, huh?